Senator Obama is saying in a speech today that voters can end divisions and fears that fracture the nation. What do you think he's talking about there? Uh, I'm not sure, but I know what his remedy is, and that's higher taxes, redistributing the wealth, quote, spread the wealth around. And we're finding out again today that as far back as 2001, that that's his liberal philosophy. Give people a check even if they don't pay any income taxes. and redistribute the wealth. This is the most liberal senator to run for president since George McGovern, and people are beginning to figure that out. Over the weekend, you brought up again what it would mean to have Democrats to control the White House and both houses of Congress. You make that seem like a scary proposition. Well, I think it's, uh, it's certainly bad for America if you have Nancy Pelosi, Harry Reid, and Barack Obama who are all on the far left of the political spectrum run in this country. Uh, Barney Frank, one of the most powerful members of Congress, announced they would increase taxes, they would increase spending, and they would cut defense by one-fourth. That's, that's a pretty radical agenda for America, and uh, it certainly should concern us. Senator, I am sure this is not what you want to talk about today, but on Saturday, CNN and other news organizations reported there is some dissension between Sarah Palin and your campaign. One unnamed staffer of yours apparently called her a diva and said that she's striking out on her own, looking toward the future and her role in the Republican Party. Is there a problem there? <laughs> you know, Larry, it's, it's entertaining to me. Uh, you know, I mean, that's, you're always going to hear a, quote, unnamed staffer from time to time. But uh, look, I'm so, so proud of her and the way she's ignited our base and people all over this country. I couldn't be more proud of her.